Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of December. So I'm going to do weeklies for December as well. I am, believe it or not. So stay tuned for those, but this could happen at any time in December. I am also going to open up private readings for December. There's been a change of, in the weather, <laughs> so there will be private readings opened for December. If you're looking for one, stay tuned for the, the link in the community section for that. And be sure to subscribe. I don't typically ask, but um, I don't know what's going on. I think that YouTube has been you know, deciding who people are being subscribed to. So... <laughs> Uh, just check your subscriptions. Anyhow, what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Virgo? We're going to start right here. What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December? Truth, this is the judgment card. So some sort of judgment is going to go in your favor by the looks of things. I don't know what kind of judgment it is, but it is going to go in your favor. This is the end of a trial. Um, this is the final, something coming to finality. Um, making a judgment call, seeing the truth, a wake-up call of some sort as well. Some sort of awakening, an epiphany. Um judgment making a judgment call accepting the truth it's a time of uh, acceptance it's a time of release it's a time of forgiveness it's it's time to end something because this is the end right judgment is when you've reached the end and it's it's time uh, maybe it's something about forgiveness somebody may be asking for forgiveness you know or you may need to forgive somebody because that's what judgment is. You think about judgment day. Judgment day is about forgiveness. Being forgiven. <laughs> this is also some sort of truth being, being, uh, coming out. Okay, some sort of truth revealed. This is also karma, whether it's good or bad, or responsibility being assigned. Okay, it could be karmic responsibility, but it could, it doesn't have to be bad. I feel like this is you being judged. Are you ready to be judged? Okay, this is a life changing decision. You may be making a life changing decision. Okay, a life changing decision this month. That's what it looks like to me. It's a life-changing decision. and But this is the end of things. So something is coming to the end because this is the end of a, of a situation. Okay, It's time to release and accept whatever the verdict is. Okay, You're going to need to accept it. So there's going to be a need to accept something this month. Accepting the truth of a situation, whether it's you or somebody that you're with. Now, there even could be some people that are going to court. Okay, there could be some sort of um, news, there could be some sort of court where, you know, um, you hear something, you hear some sort of information. Um, the Fool, oh my gosh, now this is starting from scratch, starting over, uh, stepping into new territory. This is exciting, taking a risk. So somebody is going to be taking a risk. They're going to be stepping into new territory. This is have faith, believe, just do it. This is freedom. Now, somebody may be broken free from some sort of obligation. And I don't know if there's something to do with the past here because the judgment can represent the past. That's being held accountable, okay, with the judgment card. So... Somebody may be being held accountable. They may be accepting something, accepting judgment, accepting, I don't know, an outcome, accepting the truth, accepting something. So that's what this is definitely about, acceptance and moving on. Because this is starting a new chapter, taking a risk. Somebody may be traveling. They may be moving, you know, just going someplace all of a sudden. I feel like we have a sudden change here. I do. 
So something is, is changing, and I think it's rather suddenly. Um, it's like this is just this is a this is a whole new life, right? You think about Judgment Day. You go up there if you're if whatever. You go up there, and you know, there's a chance for resurrection or whatever. Um, now, judgment is about a chance. Somebody may be given a chance. Um, taking a risk. It's going to be a month of risk. Taking a risk, accepting something, finalizing plans of some sort, leaving stuff behind. Somebody is going to be leaving a bunch, leaving it just going. It's just this is like losing. I don't care. I don't care. You know, I'm leaving it behind. So somebody is leaving something behind. Quite a few there. Way too many. Way too many, but we're going to take them anyway. Cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. Somebody's dissatisfied. And get closer, I can zoom out and then it, there we go. Ring, a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. This is like signing a contract of some sort. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. Dog, protection from a powerful friend. And it's funny because that judgment card can can uh, represent somebody that has passed away that is protecting you, somebody from the other side. So you may be getting some guidance. Clouds, temporary problems. You may be dealing with some temporary problems this month. Ant, work, achievement, success. So somebody is gonna have to work really, really, really hard to obtain success to get over these temporary problems. You will be protected. Do not lower your standards. You may be unhappy with what is going on, but this is a life change, okay? Life is about to change. The something that you have been um, dealing with that was causing you strife, you know, has caused a lot of issues, is about to be removed from your life in some way. Um, you are about to sign some sort of contract or do something new. You know, this is a, this is connecting with something that um, you're committing. You're going to be committing to something new this month, whether it's a relationship or it's a business partnership or it's a business deal or something like that. But that fool is taking a leap of faith, uh, leaving everything behind, going to a new destination, starting over. Starting over from scratch. This is the end of your old life. And that's what it is. This is the this is this is the end of your old life. You think about judgment day and you get a you get a chance to start over. This is a chance to start over in some way. So yeah, that's what we got. You're gonna get a new chance to start fresh, to start over. Um, so what do we have? This is exciting. You should be happy. You should be very, very, very happy with this change. Um, what do we have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Let go of your fear. Just do it. Just do it. If you're, if there's some sort of, you know, judgment can be a court thing. Okay, it can be court. I think that if there is some sort of judgment. That is being made it will go in your favor I think it's gonna go in your favor uh, the lovers unexpected choice unexpected choice something's gonna happen unexpectedly and I said it's funny I said it's rather unexpected so you got an unexpected opportunity here um, this is a choice between two options you're gonna have to choose which path is best for you, you're going to have to choose. And it may be in regards to leaving something behind. So you're going to have to make a choice. Now, the lovers typically is about a lover, but it doesn't have to be. This is a perfect union. It's a major choice, and it does have to do with a contract. So you are going to be making a major choice in regards to a contract this month. You may be signing a contract, or somebody may be signing a contract. Anyhow, 
Um, this, you know, this is some sort of commitment, some sort of new commitment. You're going to be committing to something. And I don't know if it's a relationship or, you know, a business partnership or a home. You know, I'm not sure some of you may be moving because I see this. This is like moving. It is starting a new journey. It's starting from scratch, starting over, starting with very little. It's like you're starting from oh, starting over, um, taking a chance accepting it feels like cutting losses as well you got this exciting new opportunity it's a new partnership of something of some sort totally unprepared three of wands reverse that's unprepared lack of foresight Temperance. Temperance is a card of patience. A need to be patient. A need to be grounded but also fluid. You're, you know, you are going to need uh, time. You're going to need time to think and to see. You're going to need and to allow and accept change. You're going to be going through a major change this month. I feel like you're going to be totally unprepared for something. You're not going to you're not going to be prepared because that's unprepared as well. I feel like you're going to be totally unprepared for some sort of uh I don't know if it's a departure because this could be a departure, it could be an arrival. You're going to be unprepared for it. You're going to need to really uh, just go with the flow. This is go with the flow. Accept and allow. You know, obviously something is ending because this is an ending. This is a new beginning. And this comes after the death card. So something is obviously ending. And you're going to need to allow and accept. Allow and accept. And, and don't try to... Don't try to hold on. Don't try to fight it. Just allow and accept and be carefree. Be carefree. Um... There's a need for moderation here. There, like, I, like I said, there's a need to be grounded and there's a need to be fluid. Okay? You know, you need to be realistic, but you also need to be open to the possibilities. Okay? So I think that you're going to be presented with something that you, I don't know, you never saw coming. And maybe, maybe you know, you will go with the flow. Okay? This is, the temperance card is about evolving. It's about allowing it's about allowing. It's about blending to create harmony. You've learned some sort of lesson, okay? You've evolved, okay? So I feel like you may be... Definitely have a big change here. Things are about to change. I think you're you're being more carefree. You're going to become more carefree. You're going to become more at ease. It's like you're choosing... You're choosing... To allow and accept, which is very, very, very good. But this is an unexpected choice, usually in love, that you did not see coming. And and, and love can be many different things. It doesn't have to be a partner. But it, you didn't see it coming, but there's a need to accept change, which is interesting. I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini or an Aries or a Scorpio. Just saying. Um... This is seeing the truth, though. You're going to see something. Hmm. Five of Cups reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. So this is stepping down, not fighting, realizing that there's a better opportunity for peace and harmony. We have harmony here a couple times. Somebody is going to be realizing that there is a better option for harmony. You know, it's, it, this is the best option. I need to let this go. You know, I need to let this go. Somebody's letting something go that was uh, very troublesome with a seven of wands. That's a battle. That's a stiff competition. You know, letting go. It's nothing to fight about anymore. They're giving up the fight. They're walking away. Um, realizing that this is a good op, that there's a better opportunity. Going to stop crying over the loss. Going to stop crying over the spilled milk. Going to focus on the future. Somebody is going to be focusing on a better future. Um, not going to fight, you know, with the Seven of Wands reverse. That's worn down, stepping down, admitting defeat, um, 
just not fighting. I'm choosing not to fight. The Five of Cups reverse is is, is realizing that there's a better option. Uh, moving on, letting bygones be bygones, focusing on the future. Um, I'm not sure if there's some sort of possible reunion here. Um, there could be with the Judgment card, the Lover's card, and the Five of Cups reversed. You know, it feels like somebody may be admitting their defeat. They may, and this won't be for everybody, but some there could be a possible reunion or reconciliation here, possibly. But th it's a choice, and that choice is yours. You may, you may be in a position where you get to make a choice. Do you want to have a reunion or not? You know, I feel like your best bet is to. Uh, work as a team work as a team um, listen but don't go back I don't think that you should be going back to something with that three of wands reversed I don't know somebody may want you to come back or they may want to and it doesn't have to be a lover it can be a family member it's interesting I feel like there's been a lot of grieving. There's been a lot of pain. There's somebody's had a lot of regrets. They've been fighting their emotions. They've been uh, protecting themselves. They've been staying put, but they've evolved. Somebody has evolved. They've evolved through uh, time. Time has changed a person. Time and... Um, you know, life experience has changed a person, this person, maybe to you. I feel like you're going to be placed in a position where you have to make a choice as to whether you want to fight or you want to step down. That's what this is. Whether you want to fight or you want to step, step down. Do you want to go with the flow or do you want to fight? What's it going to be? You know what I mean? Do you want to accept change? Do you want to let go? Um, now, somebody may be coming around that wants to work with you now because this is working together. It's teamwork. Somebody may be trying to prove something to you. There, there may be some even, I don't know if this is a sexual connection or something like that. I think that you need to, need to be careful. I do feel like you need to be careful because I feel like whoever you, whoever may be returning, if somebody is returning, uh, they probably maybe this is like a rebound type of thing and they've gotten in a fight with somebody and they're crying and they're moping and they need your uh, touch that kind of thing I think that you need to be really careful okay I do think that you need to be careful you are definitely gonna have an unexpected choice here that you're gonna have to make um, three of pentacles. Now that is teamwork. It's working together. It's proving something. Somebody may be trying to prove something to you, or you may be trying to prove something to another person. Somebody may want you to give them another chance, and I don't know who it is. I would say that you need to be very, very careful. You may not see, you may not see, somebody may have some serious addictions, and it could even be a sexual addiction, Okay. Because uh, this is very sexual and this is an addiction and you may not see it. This is lack of foresight. You may not see it. So I would be very, very, very careful with who you are engaging with this month. Um, it's interesting. We have the devil. Very unhealthy. Toxic. Sexual. Lust. Greed. Selfish. All is not as it seems. I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn. doesn't have to be. Could be a Capricorn. Could be a Sagittarius. Could be a Gemini. Um, we have Leo and Air. Oh, damn, I didn't say. Oh, I just said Leo. But anyway, I meant to say Scorpio and Aries. But Leo is in here too. Anyhow, um, I think that there's going to be a need to cooperate with. And this is with some. But this is now. I'm going down another path. Okay. This is this is going through all different parts. I believe in December. So we got. We just talked about this. Now we're going to talk about that. There's a, you're going to need to compromise. You're going to need to compromise and blend to bring harmony to a situation this month. You're going to have to make some compromises. Do you hear me? Okay. And work together as a team. I think with two other people. 
Okay, I think there's going to be a team of three people that you need to work with. And this could even be a third party situation. Now I'm changing it again. We could have somebody that has to choose between two people. You know, two options, two choices. Um, I do feel like you are going to be signing a contract. I do think there's going to be an exchange of money as well for some of you. Somebody is going to be getting a big offer or they're going to be making a big offer. And I think that they're, you know, you need to really... Uh, I think you should take it. I think you should take it. Whatever this new offer is, I think you have a choice and I think you should take the new offer because this is a new opportunity. This is a fresh start. It's leaving the baggage behind. The fool leaves the baggage behind. Does not take it with them on the new journey. This is a new chapter. It is a new lesson. It's a new life. So you are in the process of starting a new life, but you are going to have to make a choice to leave something behind, okay? Or to let something go so that you can have your new life. So I don't know if this is in court, if you end up in court, or if you just start seeing things differently because this is an epiphany. The, ju the judgment card is an epiphany. It's seeing the truth, hearing the truth, the truth being revealed, you know? And it's also about acceptance. So I see a lot of acceptance here. Accepting change, accepting the outcome, accepting the verdict. Okay, you're going to be accepting something and you're going to be signing a new contract. I do believe you're going to be getting something in return, though, with that three of pentacles. He's hold, it's a golden opportunity in his hand. So you're going to be receiving a golden opportunity, but that's going to be based on the choice that you make. Because above that is the choice. You're going to have to make a choice. Um, you have a future option that could really pay off, that could last. It could last for a very long time if you don't fight it. Don't fight it. Allow and accept change. So this month is about change. And it's about breaking free as well. Because if you think about the devil, the devil reverse is breaking free from an unhealthy, toxic situation. Okay, that's freedom. You have to find your courage and your willpower and your discipline to break free this month. It's probably not going to be easy. Because there could be some codependency issues here. You know, somebody is codependent on a situation that they need to break free from. And somebody may be codependent on you. You may be codependent on them. This could be drugs, could be alcohol, could be food, could be whatever. But the, the devil reverse or devil period is codependency. You must free yourself. Now this is breaking free or things get worse. Things could get worse if you don't break free. So is somebody, you may be dealing with somebody who's getting worse. They may be going into a deep, dark place and, you know, I don't know if it's you or them and somebody needs to break free. They need to break free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. And I feel like that is going to be happening this month. Um, you will not be prepared for a change that is coming, okay? Unprepared. Probably not so happy. Somebody's not going to be happy. It may not be you. Okay? It may not be you. Somebody's not going to be happy with a the change. There is a change coming. Okay? Um, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Focus on the future. You have a new option. You have a new opportunity here for healing. Because this is healing. A healing connection or a healing love or, or somebody does. But there's been some wasted time. Somebody hasn't been able to see. And I don't know if there is some. It does feel like there's some sort of addictions here. That need to be addressed. And there's a need to break free and start over. Start from scratch. So yeah, I feel like this month you're going to be, or somebody is, whether it's you or this reading can go vice versa. The Fool card is taking a risk, starting a new phase. Spur the moment decision. Spur the moment change. Stepping into uncharted territory. Doing something you've never done. And it's freedom. We have freedom here. So this is freedom. And I don't know if it's freedom from obligation. Somebody may be broken free from obligation. Or they may be accepting something. Anyhow. Um, 
get prepared to start a new journey. This is a new beginning starting from scratch. You think about zero. Zero is literally starting from scratch. It's not one. It's starting at the very, 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 very beginning of a new chapter of your life. Starts this month. But it will require you accepting. Acceptance is huge. Accepting an ending. Think about Judgment Day. That is the end. Accepting that something is over. As soon as you accept that something is over, your new life begins. And you will feel relief. So some of you are also going to be getting a new offer. And it's after you accept. And that's exactly what it is. Because you accept. And here comes your new offer. But the universe knows when you don't accept. So you have to accept. So yeah. Good luck on your new beginning. It looks to me like you're going to be stepping into new territory. Starting a new life. Congratulations. <laughs>